Hey folks, Captain Dave here. What I'm going to show you today is some differences in reels. Because I got some, my new Daiwas in today. So what I'm going to show you here first off is this is my workhorse. This is the uh, Shimano TRN 100G. Okay, all graphite, aluminum spool. If you fished with me, you've definitely used these, most likely. And um, only deal is here, I change these handles to a double paddle, but they usually just have a single crank handle. What we're going to be showing, what I'm going to be showing you, is the fact that. Here is a conventional star drag level wind reel, okay? What, keep, what makes this so simple, as I've mentioned many times before, it's got bearings here in the handle, in that part right there, there's a bearing. On each side is just bronze bushings, okay? But to let this, you know, the spool go, you got to flick back the lever and the line pays out. Okay, the line pays out. You turn the handle, it does nothing. You have to flick the handle. You got to push the handle forward. That's 99% of all simple star drag conventional reels. Okay, now I'm not talking about like Garcia Ambassadors here where it's got push buttons or a thumb bar or anything like that. I'm talking about a bigger, heavier duty reel that is pretty much just what you'd refer to as a conventional reel like this one. Okay. Other than, a, you know, there's just not that many. Here is actually a bigger reel. Okay. This one here. It's kind of a cheap reel. There's nothing fancy about it. Okay, it is graphite body, large handle, star drag, level wind, and it's got aluminum spool. This is a cheap Tsunami Bimini Bay reel. Okay, um, same thing. You flick the handle back. And line pays out. But, believe it or not, even on this cheap $34 reel, you turn the handle and now it engages. Okay, that right there, that portion of this reel is what makes it nice. So, that flicking the lever and engaging. Why say this isn't that way is just probably to keep it super duper simple. Okay. I've asked many a person, I've discussed this before, why isn't 90% of all these conventional star drag level wine larger reels that way? Because I've been told and it could be a reason why, is to make them simple so they don't break. Nobody does the does that. So there's two reels. This is my workhorse of all time. This is one that I'm actually getting rid of. I'm selling at a swap meet. Okay. That's the reason why I got these. All right, these just came, and I'm not I'm not into the unboxing videos, but you're just we're gonna call this first look. Okay, first look. What am I doing here? I just got these. These are gonna be the Daiwas. And Daiwa decided to take its popular saltist reel 
and do with these other two reels have done. So let's do the first look. Pretty dang big box. So here we go. It's the Daiwa Saltist LW20HC. Okay. Now, Daiwa makes reels just like this one, where you, the 90% the of the time, I mean, their Saltist versions are you have to flick the hammer or the, the lever back, okay, to engage the reel. The difference with this is, you don't have to do that. So, this is the first look. Okay, you get the instructions, of course. Reel clamp, screws, wrench. That's, that's mighty nice. Okay, here we go. Now, this is what I've been wanting. And this is on my blog. I mentioned how I'm doing a review of this reel. For the sheer fact that... Um, I'm, can you see this? I'm trying to... Trying to keep it in the picture here. Okay, I don't have my camera set up on wide angle. Okay, but there it is. All metal body. I think aluminum. I can't tell if that's aluminum side plates. But what I wanted, just for shits and giggles here, is I wanted this reel, this Shimano, I wanted one exactly the same size, but I wanted, instead of workhorse, can't fail, never fails. Slow, not slow, but a 4.3 to 1 gear ratio holds an absolute buttload of line, especially when you're talking braid. I wanted the same type of reel with high speed and auto engaging there you go auto engaging that's what I was looking for and if you read on my blog what I was talking about was I had the real what I call the real of all reels and that was the Shimano Tranex 500 HG. High gear ratio, large, large line capacity. And I said, it, I always referred to it as, if the Terminator was a fisherman, he would have been using the Shimano Tranex for fishing because it was the large it was huge it was the largest low profile bait caster known to man okay believe it or not that reel retailed that shimano retailed for four hundred and ninety nine dollars i had mine for about two years and i just sold it on ebay for three hundred and seventy five dollars with free shipping with that exact same money, I could get two Daiwas. Now, I've never been a Daiwa man. Maybe back in the old days, you know, I used uh, all aluminum bodied uh, Daiwa 50Hs for king fishing. But this reel really, really got me. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. And the funny thing is, and I think I posted it on my blog, 
there is one, maybe two, videos on all of YouTube about this reel. I wanted this with an attitude. And I had to go to Daiwa to get it. I wanted power handle. Big handle. I wanted high speed. I wanted a round reel the same size as this, which essentially, actually this one's a little smaller. And I wanted auto engaging. And I wanted it to hold a lot of line. And the clicker's nice. Very loud. There's some people that are just so into clickers, it's ridiculous. Um, that, that's, that, that's what they base everything on. This is really, really nice because of the fact that there's the holes right there for your real clamp. I mean, Daiwa, they're kind of winning me over here. Braid? It doesn't even say braid. It says Brad. Right there. Brad. That might be that translation that you know, Chinese or Japanese or something. 200 yards of 50 mono, 14 pound, 350 yards. Okay, that's why I got, I got all this line sitting over here. I don't know if I'm going to put Berkeley Whiplash on it or Power Pro. Probably Power Pro because I really like Power Pro. A lot of people are falling to the wayside on Power Pro, but not me. I love it. Okay, but this is the reason I got it. Right there. Supposedly, I mean, it's got, which I can see already, it's got an oversized worm gear. It's being held here. It's being held here as far as the level wind. It's not that heavy of a reel. I wanted something I could chuck gigantic plugs with. I wanted something that I could bottom fish with. Here's another nice thing. Okay, that's what I wish the Shimano had at least. It has no clicking. Okay, the difference with this Shimano TR100G is you can get this for about 60 bucks, maybe 65 these days. They seem to have gone up a little bit in price. I remember when I first started getting them, I'd get them for $55, $58. Okay, but that's now you're talking more than double the price. These reels, I got these reels for 187 or something like that, 186 eBay's where I got them. If you want to uh, want to check it out, just put in Daiwa Saltist 20HC into uh, eBay. And I got mine from a place, believe it or not, up in North Dakota. So um, this is it. These are what I've been waiting on, and so far, you know, it's looking pretty good. Look at that handle. You know, there was big complaints, not big, I'm not going to say big complaints, but there was a lot of comments about the Shimano Tranex. Shimano is focusing down, focusing down, focusing down to where they're building a reel for like almost one specific kind of thing, which... Uh, the Tran X was really great for throwing those wax wings. It was really good as a vertical jigging type uh, reel. You could really burn a bait with it because, it I mean, it really, you turn that handle on that Tran X, and I mean, you took in, what, 38 yard or 30 in, 38 inches of line, okay? But after I had it for a while and I used it and I caught, you know, big black tips on it and stuff. I mean, I used, may have seen those videos. I mean, I, I worked that thing. Well, guess what? I'm going to do the same thing with these. These are supposedly going to produce a 20-pound uh, drag pressure. I haven't had a Daiwa in a long time. So, um, you're going to see... If these are going to be worth it, if they're worth it, I'll probably purchase two more, okay? 
and use them for sort of um, an upgrade on these. But when we're just bottom fishing, we're just bottom fishing the river. I use these TRNs or TR100Gs. They work fantastic. There's nothing wrong with them. But it's not something you're going to chuck a lure with or you know, burn a top water plug across the top of the water with. This is just strictly utility. Bottom fishing. I've got these in the 200 model. This is the 100. The 200 is a little wider. I use those for uh, kingfish or when I step off the beach and I'm out a little bit. You know, a couple miles because of the sheer fact that they even hold more line than this one. So, that's the first look. I want you to get a good look at it. I'm trying to uh, get it right here in the... Let me even tilt the light down here a little bit. I know sometimes a camera, when it has the light, goes a little crazy. But, um, I just want you to have a good look at it. Good deep spool. And uh, this is the reason I just gave you the history on those two other reels. That auto engage is something that, like in Shimano, on their, on their reels, you could really only find that on a true just bait caster, which would be the Calcutta series, which are for the small ones, just a little tiny Calcutta. Um, you'll pay 200 bucks. I didn't even pay $200 for these. So really what the whole deal is here, we're going to see how good Daiwa is going to hold up. And is this a value or is this just kind of like all glitz, all glamour and, and really no ass to it. But I'm going to see. I'm going to use these. Hopefully, I'm thinking about even using these on Friday. We're going to do try to do some bottom fishing drum at the inlet and see how this works. I'm going to be putting them in the hands of um, a good customer of mine and see how she works. I'll be putting these just on my ugly fish, ugly stick catfish rods. And you've seen, if you watch that video of me with the Tran X, You've seen what an ugly stick catfish rod can do. It can bust an over 100 pound uh, spinner shark, no problem. Even in that video, I mean, it was absolutely brutal that day. It was like 100 degrees by the time it was 9 o'clock in the morning. So, that's it. That's what you get. Here's talking about it. They're talking about the gears, easy palming, all that good stuff in, in the instructions here. And then, let me just do real quick here, what you're getting, you're getting a wrench and a reel clamp. And I kind of like this already. Because I can see what this is doing here. Look at this. It's like really what they do in big game reels. Okay. Let's see. Are you being, You're going to be able to see this here? Let's see. I'm trying to show you. Okay. I don't know if it's fitting in the frame. But. I'm sort of liking this already. This is what you would get. I mean, I got that same system with my, you know, Shimano uh, TLD-50 Monster Shark Rods or Reels. So, there you go. Alright, well, that'll conclude this. I just wanted to uh, show you what I've been waiting on. You can always count on Captain Dave to talk about tackle. You can always find more tackle discussion many times right on my blog if you click fishing reports on my website i always have my website listed below in the 
description to this video. And um, hopefully the next thing you're going to get here is going to be usage of these and pulling fish up off the bottom. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been a discussion about the 6 to 1 gear ratio, Daiwa 20. It comes in a 30 also. Saltist HC Auto Engaging Reel. Alrighty, this is the Jetty Wolf signing out. Thanks for watching.